This video is going to teach you some bony landmarks for the knee and the best way to do this is to get the knee into flexion. So straight away once we do that and if I show you what I've just done. So we've gone from a straight position to a flex position and you can see the knee joint open straight up with that bit of flexion. So the first thing I would do when having a little feel of the bony landmarks around the knee joint is to try and locate that space. It's called the knee joint line. So I'll place that there and it will feel like two indentations. So we've got the patella here and then you can, I don't know if you can see, but my thumb just sink in to that area. So that's right in the knee joint line. And the knee joint line goes around those epicondyles like so. So we'll be drawing this on so you can see and I'll be referring to the, um, the knee anatomy structure that I have here. Okay, right, let's go with, first of all, we're going to palpate the patella. We draw around the patella here and at the bottom. So the patella is the sesamoid bone um, and it develops within the body uh, around two or three years of age. So we're not actually born with a patella, but it grows within the patella tendon. From here, we can then work down as a squashy bit here, that's the patella tendon. And once you get to the next bony bit, and we can see on my client here, that protrudes quite a bit. I'm just going to draw that as a circle because that for level four sports massage, this is one of the anatomical structures you do need to know. And that's called the tibial tuberosity or tib tub for short, tibial tuberosity. That is the attachment of all of the four quadricep muscles. From here, I'm going to go back to where I said we found the eyes of the knee. And then we're going to have a look at the knee joint line. So the knee joint line goes around these big structures of bone here. So I'm going to draw a line there and I'm going to draw a line on this side. Those lines represent, you can see on the model here, so we've got the kneecap, which is covered with the tendon. Those lines I've just drawn there are these big round bits of bone called the um, epicondyles, the femoral epicondyles. On the inside of the knee, this would be a medial femoral epicondyle, and on the outside is the lateral femoral epicondyle. So I'm going to carry that on around there. If I come up and sink through, now with my client on the couch who is a sprinter and has got a great vastus medialis, it's a little bit harder to feel, but I've got to go over the top and sink around the corner. I don't know if you can see my fingers sinking through um, the VMO there. But there's the top bit just there, which I'm going to point out on this structure. So I've gone over and I've sunk in just around the corner there as the adductor tubercle. So the adductor tubercle is the attachment for the large adductor muscle, the adductor magnus. So the adductor magnus attaches there. Um, what's the difference between, this isn't a joke by the way, <laughs> sounds like one. What's the difference between an epicondyle and a condyle? show you on here. So condyles are covered in cartilage. Let's take the knee off here, let's take the patella off. So all of this shiny bit which on a, knee, a real knee joint is cartilage, these will be the condyles. The epicondyles will feel rougher and they're further around the outside not covered in cartilage. On a real person with lots of um, soft tissue in the way it's a lot harder to feel the condyles. So the only way we can feel that is to go in through and press directly in and you will be just clipping those little bits here which are in the eyes of the knee which I showed earlier. So as we press in here I can feel bony landmark so these would be the condyles. If I am trying to draw it on this area okay it would be I'm just going to draw it as a bit of a hash like so hash mark and then on this side here so close into the knee joint line would be the condyles, medial femoral condyle, lateral femoral condyle. A little bit further out, which you can actually feel um, and feel a bit more rough, is, are the epicondyles. I'm going to just draw now the patella tendon. And again, you may have heard of it called the patella tendon or the patella ligament. Now, if I join that to there, I am joining bone to bone. I'm drawing patella to tibial tuberosity. So definition of a ligament is bone to bone. So that's patella 
ligaments. But then we have the four quadricep muscles coming over the top here. Uh, again, I've got a video on the muscles, so have a look at that one. But they're coming across the top, over the kneecap, and they blend in with this ligament. So that in itself, muscle to bone, will be a tendon. So you can call it a tendon or ligament. It's exactly the same, but they blend in, and it's the same area here. From here, we've got uh, a structure, or um, a bony landmark, or position, called the pes anserine. Now, from tibial tuberosity, I'm going to come one inch around the corner medially. And I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's a slight raised area. So I'd say go one inch around medially to here. And what I'm going to do with my green pen is I'm going to draw a set of three lines like so. That is the technical name for that area is called pes anserinus, which is Latin for goosefoot. So goosefoot eye show this to my students and from this position the top one is the tendon of the sartorius muscle that comes over the top this middle one is gracilis that is part of the adductor group and this bottom one is semitendinosis which is part of their hamstrings so the actual bony landmark itself is pes anserinus but now we know the three muscles and again check out the muscle video on that one um, if we go further around the corner if you come around this way From here, from the outside of the leg, I'm going to fill my way up until I get to a bony landmark. And on my muscular client here, he's got great knees to palpate. You can see that. That is the head of the fibula. So if I draw that there, I'm drawing it as a circle, but that's the bit that's closer to the surface. The fibula comes all the way down the leg, like so, all the way down to the ankle, to the lateral malleolus. Okay, but at the top here, it's the head of the fibula. If I come a little bit further around the corner, and again, we can see on my client here, there's a bony landmark just here. And that is the lateral tibial epicondyle. So they're very close together. People often get them confused. I would say when you're trying to palpate the head of the fibula, you work your way up the leg until you get to it. But the tibial epicondyle, you get from the tibial tuberosity and you come around this way and it's in between the two. Are there any other structures? This is predominantly for level four, but general anatomy as well. So we have superior pole of patella, superior means top, inferior pole of patella, the bottom. We've got the two condyles, femoral condyle, medial femoral condyle, lateral femoral condyle. We've got the epicondyles a little bit further around. We've got the adductor tubercle, as you run your fingers over and sink around the corner there, adductor tubercle. We've got tibial tuberosity, the attachment of the four quads. We've got pes anserinus, which are drawn in green, but it's still a bony landmark. So just have a think of what those three muscles are, three muscle attachments. Around the corner here, we've got the lateral tibial epicondyle. And then even further around the corner that you find coming up the leg and to palpate, is the head of the fibula. So they will be the different structures that you will need to do for a level four exam in sports massage, um, but it also helps you if you're not doing level four, it helps you uh, with an understanding for muscle attachments and check out the next video for that one.